Hello everyone, my name is Ivo and welcome to Cooking with the Koyas. So glad you joined me today because I would like to share with you my recipe for a very delicious chicken parm. Let's get started right now. So chicken parm is typically served with a side of pasta and that's what we're gonna do today. We're starting off, I've got two beautiful chicken breasts here and what we're gonna do is cut them in half lengthwise. So you want them basically half as thin as they currently are. So I like to just place my hand on top, slice the knife across, two beautiful uh, fillets right there. Okay, same thing with the other. This one's a little bit bigger, that's okay. Just work your way through and slice it right through. Beautiful, done. So those two are done. And speaking of done, it always helps to have your station set up to prep your chicken, which I have here. Uh, I have some flour, just all purpose flour. One large egg. Okay. To the egg, I'm gonna add one tablespoon of water. And then just with a fork, lightly beat it. We just need a little bit of egg to coat the, um, to coat the chicken breasts. Okay, then here I have some of my homemade uh, breadcrumbs. And I'm going to add about one, this is optional by the way, about one tablespoon of paprika. So I'm just going to flavor up these breadcrumbs a little bit. Again, you don't have to do this, but I like to add a little bit of paprika to my breadcrumb. Okay, now we start the motion going, the, the traditional flour, coated in flour. Shake off any excess, okay? And then into the egg. This is the messy part. I like to use the tongs here, otherwise everything sticks to your fingers afterwards. <laughs> okay, so in the egg we go. And now into the breadcrumb mixture. Excess egg off. Okay, and then all I do is just like to give it a shake and just cover it up. Okay, and coat it with the breadcrumbs. All right, let me get a plate. There we go. That one is now ready to be fried. We are gonna fry these today, folks. Let's get the next one going. That's a very nice chicken cutlet right there. Okay, same thing. Into the egg. Use the tongs. Keeping our hands somewhat clean, a little bit of excess into the breadcrumb. Cover it all up with the breadcrumb. Very nice. Okay, there's our second one. And we're just gonna continue and do the other two as well. And our last one out of the egg. And you can see there, we still have plenty of egg left over. That one egg with that little bit of water was more than enough for these two chicken breasts or four cutlets, chicken cutlets. And again, with the breadcrumb, get them all covered up nice. There we go. Excellent. Look at that. Look at this, folks. Isn't that, isn't that beautiful already? Look at that. Okay, let's make our way over to the stove to our frying pan. Okay, so I'm going to fry actually using my wok today. But any frying pan will do, of course. I'm using grapeseed oil. You could use sunflower oil, vegetable oil, as you wish. Uh, I like to use grapeseed or sunflower. Those are my two go-to for frying. All right, so we're gonna bring that up to temperature. We want that temp to be about 350 degrees, and then we can start frying. Um, 
As a side note, I said I'm going to serve this with pasta. I've got a pot of water here that's already started to boil and I've got some sauce over here that is just heating up that we're going to use today as well. So let's get this up to temp. Okay, let's take a reading. Ooh, we're at 380. All right, so I'm going to lower it just a bit. And let's get our chicken cutlet in there. In fact, I can get two in there at the same time. There we go. Yeah, you don't want your oil to be overly hot because then all that happens is it just cooks on the outside and it doesn't cook on the inside. So that's why I've lowered it now to like medium high so that it'll take its time and fry. We're gonna cook these folks till they're golden brown. And I should mention, I've also got my oven on preheat to 350 degrees while we're doing this. Cause this really comes together real quick, this whole meal. And it's just a matter of just timing everything so that uh, you're not wasting any time in between. Hence the pre, uh, pre boiling of the pasta water. All right, let's give this a minute and then we're gonna flip it. So when you see the edges starting to brown up, you could take a peek, see how that's kind of brown there. Let's take a look. Let's give that a turn. Yeah, see that's, that's quite nice. So this one we put in a little later. Yeah, see you can see that's cooked nicely. So again, another couple minutes on this side and we'll get them finished cooking. All right, let's pop a look. Yeah, oh, oh look at that folks. Absolutely perfect. Nice and golden brown. I know it's tempting to eat them right now, but we got to hold off because you know what? It's going to be even better. Look at that one. This folks is going to be even better when we're done with it. All right. So we're going to put these on a paper towel and get our other cutlets and drop them in. One and two. Same thing, a minute or two on each side. Golden brown. All right, and let's see how these last two are. Oh yeah, that one's done very nicely. Place that one down. And how's this one doing? This one's a little bit thicker. But you know what? That's done too. So that can go off. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful chicken cutlets. Okay. So now you notice we have not had any salt at this point. Now's the time we're going to want to salt these. And that's when you're going to want to do salt to taste. All right. So here we're going to do salt to taste and we're going to want to salt both sides. So side number one and side number two, just turn them over. Side number two. Fantastic. Okay. So now we are going to prepare our chicken parmigiano. So let's, we have a little bit of sauce here that I made the other day. This is my classic sauce. Uh, if you want to see that recipe, I have a video on that. I'll show you how to make this. So I'm just going to put just a very little on the bottom. Just a little bit. Now we can take our chicken. And is it going to fit? I don't think all of them are going to fit in here. So you know what? Let me get another container and we'll do the same thing to the other one. Alrighty. Slide that one over. Slide this one in. Same thing. Just a little bit of sauce on the bottom. Okay. These folks are going to be absolutely delicious. I'm going to tell you right now, I'm so excited about getting these into the oven. Okay. So what I do now at this point is I put a nice layer of sauce on top. Okay, same here, put a layer of sauce, oh 
Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about right there, folks. Now, the little key ingredient that I like to add is prosciutto. And I like to buy a whole prosciutto and slice my own, but you can get yours sliced at the deli. Typically, one slice per chicken cutlet. This is beautiful, beautiful prosciutto. This, folks, is going to add amazing flavor to our chicken parm right there. That's actually the key ingredient. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some mozzarella. So I'm actually got some fresh mozzarella here that is packed in, in water. So I'm just gonna drain that out and get that ready. All right, look at that folks. Now, if you don't have fresh mozzarella, just use regular mozzarella. You can uh, shred it and sprinkle that over top. But I'm always telling you I like to tell you what I find to be the best and fresh is the best. So uh, just actually before we use that, I'm going to add a little more sauce on top. So this chicken parm is a two layered sauce, chicken parmigiano. The other one there. There we go. And now we take our fresh mozzarella. I'm just going to make slices. Oh, about, let's say a quarter inch thick. I like to have lots of mozzarella. So again, you could put shredded mozzarella over top. This would be the time to do it. I absolutely love the fresh mozzarella. And maybe one more slice there. Okay. So Let's take our mozzarella, just place it on top. Two slices, I can get, that one was kind of one and a half. I can sneak another slice there. Same with this one. One and two. Oh, look at that, it's gonna work out perfectly. One and two, too bad there wasn't any left over because you know what I would have done with that, folks. <laughs> I would have eaten that. All right, let's put this into the oven. Okay, our oven is at 350, and this now needs to go in for, oh, 10 to 15 minutes, basically, as long as it takes to cook the pasta, which the pasta we're gonna use today takes anywhere from 10 to 12 minutes, so the timing is gonna work out perfectly. All right, we'll leave that in the oven, and let's get our pasta going. All right, our water is boiling away, Time to add salt. You want to add one tablespoon or three quarters of a tablespoon of salt for every liter of water that you have because you want your, your water to be nice and salty. Okay, and today, folks, I'm going to make cavatelli. Um, a typical dish served with the chicken parm is pasta, uh, sorry, is spaghetti, but I'm going to, I've opted for the cavatelli, and these ones are imported from Italy, so it's a very, very nice pasta. Okay, and that's going to act as a beautiful, beautiful side dish to our chicken parm. Let's give it a stir here. Put the lid back on. So. When the package says 10 to 12 minutes, it's usually 10 minutes means al dente and 12 minutes means a little bit more well done. However, you don't start the 10 or 12 minutes until you bring it back to a boil. Bring your pasta back to a boil, then start your timer going. So we're gonna let this cook as per the package instructions. By the time the pasta is ready, our chicken will be ready and we can put it all together. Our time is up, our pasta is ready. Turn that off. Let's go drain this pasta. Okay, let's take our cavatelli. In the sauce it goes. Give it a mix. This is a beautiful pasta too, folks. If you've never had cavatelli, give it a try. Okay. Beautiful. All right, our pasta, folks, is ready. 
let's go get our chicken parm. Okay, we can stop our oven. It's actually been 15 minutes. Oh, looky here, folks. Oh yeah, that, look at the nice melted mozzarella. That's beautiful. 15 minutes, that's more than enough. Uh, okay, we get a couple of hot plates and we'll move them over. Now I'm ready to move them. There's number one. And let's take a look at this one. Oh yeah. Take a look at that folks. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful right there. Okay. Okay, now folks, for the fun part, we get to plate this. Why not start with this beautiful piece right here? Look at that. Oh my goodness, folks, I'm telling you right now. Oh, that's gonna be good. Okay, let's get a little bit of pasta on the side. Oh yeah, some Parmigiano Reggiano. Oh, and a little bit of chili pepper too on that pasta. Folks, you know what I'm waiting for right now. I'll actually, I'll take a photo and then we gotta do a taste test cause that looks delicious. Oh my folks, you know, you order a meal like this in a restaurant, this, folks, is definitely better than restaurant caliber right there. You know why? Because you would have made it. That's why. And things are always better when you make them yourself. Let's cut into that chicken. Oh, boy. Folks. <laughs> Look at this. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Mozzarella cheese, sauce and prosciutto. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. What an unbelievably flavorful Italian classic dish. Chicken parm served with a side of pasta. I don't know if it gets any better than this. I really don't know. And I got to tell you, adding the prosciutto makes a big difference. Mmm. Folks, you have to give this a try. Honestly, it comes together quickly. Have your station set up, have your sauce heating up, your water boiling. Put the chicken together, fry it, just as we did here today, and you'll be surprised on how quick it comes together. This is delicious. I'm gonna enjoy this. We've got three more pieces. I'll give Laura a call. We'll sit down, we'll have our meal. But you know what, folks, wherever you're tuning in from, as you know, it makes me very happy that you've tuned in and watched the recipe, but it makes me happier if you make the recipe and enjoy the meal. That's what I enjoy best. If you're able to enjoy the recipe, that would make me very happy. Thanks for tuning in. Until next time, bon appetito.